Okay, so um, this Talos competition has tasked us with creating an Arduino powered project. Um, we pretty much have free scope, but it has to be something involving one of the areas that Talos are involved with. Our application, we were thinking along a, a more military based, um, not necessarily to do with conflict, but more navigation for time critical situations such as a soldier in who is engaged with an enemy and let's say that they need to know where they need to get to they have a, a new destination that might be given out by a, a commanding officer and instead of having to stop and look at a map or a GPS device that they could you they would have some other device that they wouldn't have to stop and look at but they would still need to they would still know how to get to their destination and where that was um, and that's why we have created the Wayfinder belt. It's basically a compass that you wear that knows where you're going and vibrates in the direction you want to be heading. Dan is wearing our Wayfinder belt which is going to be used to tell him where to go. So using this app we can now we can tell it where we want to go. So I have set the destination there when, when I press this which is just over that way. Dan should now be able to make his way to where I pressed. <laughs> Getting something. Right. That's good. Right, so Dan now thinks he's here. That's where we set the destination to. And that's about where we are. If you look around, we're about halfway between the field next to the main road. Our previous demonstration wasn't particularly great so we've got Carl here to do another one. We're going to be going much further than we did in the previous one. Hopefully it'll provide us some more interesting results. Carl isn't part of our team. He doesn't know where he's going today so this should be a thorough test of the belt's capabilities. Um, we're going to pick a point fairly far away from where we are now. I'll show the camera, but I won't show Carl. Currently we're near where the blue point is on the map. Green point represents where Carl is currently facing, and we are going to be heading for a spot somewhere around here. We've picked this spot because there's a geocache there. It's the only thing special about the spot, really. We're going to see if we can find a geocache using the belt. Bet it up, I'm now just going to follow Carl, film him, see what happens. Let's roll him. wanting us to go up there. Um, through the building or to the left, that's a question. It, it's very sensitive as to which way I'm facing. And like, if I face that way, it's virtually straightforward. I think, because if, if I face that way, then it's distinctively to my right again. But I think I'll try this way and just... I'm thinking directly across the river again. Uh, try it. Nah, it's still sitting directly across the river. To go more in that direction. Yeah, but that's kind of straightforward. Um, sometimes changes to this one for like a very brief second, but uh, it's on my right side, but it definitely seems to go that way.
we got here in the end, it was a bit dodgy at times, I think the GPS was being a bit silly. Do you reckon it worked? Well, we got to other location, so I'd have to say yes. I'm going to show now a little bit about how the belt actually works. Uh, the output is a form of haptic feedback provided by these vibrating motors that are spaced along the belt. Uh, the motors that vibrate are the direction you want to be heading in. Um, this is how we achieve the feedback to the soldier or person, the user of the belt. It's how we give that person the instruction to move in a particular direction. Obviously, if a particular motor vibrates, the user doesn't have to look at it, have to stop, they just know that is the direction that they need to be heading. Um, the brains of the operation is stored in a unit here. We think that in a real life application this could be shrunk down much smaller. Obviously this is just a, a proof of concept more than anything. Here we have the Arduino itself, which we were given to us. Um, we have a GPS, Bluetooth device, an uh, accelerometer and a magnetometer, all connected onto a proto shield on top of the Arduino itself. Uh, we have a Bluetooth device which lets us connect to either a host device, um, either be a smartwatch or a phone, and send coordinates to the device. We have the GPS which lets us calculate the bearing and tell us where the Arduino is. We have the magnetometer which uses an algorithm to uh, detect where north is. Uh, and we also have an accelerometer which will allow us to, with the help of the magnetometer, uh, use the Arduino in any orientation. Some of our inspiration was actually the fact that wearable tech is actually becoming a bit of a trend at the moment. The likes of Samsung releasing several smart watches recently and the whole idea of technology becoming smaller to a point that you almost don't realise it's there. And that's the, our kind of vision that we had for what if this was to become a project, that you could have a belt that was seemingly just an ordinary belt but had this additional functionality. So on the screen here we're outputting some information for debugging purposes and it's useful to see some of the things that the Arduino sees as far as values for the different modules we've got with the Arduino. On the leftmost side here we have values for the accelerometer, X, Y and Z going along there. And you can see if I move this in the X axis, these are resting at around 30. If I move this up, you go there, you see the numbers change there. And in the Y axis, you see the Y column change there as well. This second row of numbers here, these are to do with the GPS. Unfortunately, we're inside at the moment, so those aren't going to give any real values. But if we were outside having satellite coordinates, those would give us latitude and longitude there. Here we have the uh, magnetometer values in X, Y and Z as well, um, correspondingly. Uh, if I move these around, you can see that the X value here changes depending on which way is north. Um, we have an algorithm in the code which will calculate which direction is north and gives a bearing for it. Um, and outputs it to these values here, which are the outputs to the vibrators themselves. If you see here that um, when I rotate this, the number should shift along here, uh, which corresponds to the belt rotating as well and vibrating in different angles. Thanks for watching. Just remember, we do need your votes to win. Um, so if you like us, please remember to vote at the end of the video. And thank you very much. When a soldier is going through battlefields, and he has to get to a destination, doesn't know where his destination is. Uh, he has to use his hands for other things. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... Right, we on? Yeah. Okay, so the way from... Right, so I'm going to talk now about a little bit about... <laughs> no, it's the very end. Right. Yeah, uh, vote for us. <laughs>